Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast, the podcast where our number three priority is safety and our number one priority <laughs> is profit. At this point in time, we haven't even monetized the channel, so we're doing a really bad job. Um, oh, sorry, can I swear? I just already swore. Sorry. That's no, no, no. We swearing is okay. not only That's allowed fine. but encouraged. He, right. He just in said the there's there's no monetization. So. Yeah, <laughs> you said, yeah. What is you, what is you two going to do? Our number one priority is ad. profit, and I just said, "Oh fuck!" And no, that's <laughs> my great. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Say it one more time. <laughs> fuck. No. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now we got. Now we got the the three within thirty seconds totally demonetized. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have today our special guest, Explosions and Fire. Hello. Welcome. Um, that is. Uh, I like it's just straight to the point. It's straight to the point. It's yeah. Very like backyard scientist is with us here and Nile Red, but like none none of those none of those have the same ring as explosions and fire. I mean, I, okay. So what, a what even is a William Osman? Yeah. Exactly. Do, you, do you guys regret your channel names at all, or like, because like you know, dude, I regret my birth. Wait, wait. Before <laughs> no, I, I answer like that, yeah. So it's before I answer that. Are are you asking that because you think we should? Or yeah. you, is no. that just the general I, we need Alan. I regret my name. And I like explosions mm. and fire, but I, I hate the ampersand. Why did I put an ampersand mm. in the name? I can't draw it. I can't put it in a URL. I can't, like, Google search it. It's terrible. But you, you, can, you can rename your channel. You just lose. You have to just reapply to For be verified. Mm. Do you have a partner manager? Do I look like I have a partner manager? No. <laughs> no. Welcome to YouTube, where you can literally, you know, okay, I, I've right. made this, I've made this claim so many times. You can, you can put a hundred dollars into a bank account, and and you don't even need to put money in a bank account. You can walk into a bank and you can talk to somebody like face to face, and then they'll let you do that. Like they'll let you open an account for like a hundred dollars, right? You put a hundred dollars in your account on YouTube. You can literally, there are people who make millions of dollars a year in ad revenue on YouTube, which means that YouTube itself is making probably, I mean, millions of dollars off of that person because it's like a 40 <laughs> yeah. 50 split or what is it actually now? Is it 50 50 or 40 60? I don't know. Maybe it was 45, 40 55. 60. 40, 45 maybe 55? Yes, yeah, 45. Yeah, I, mean, now, I, think. It, I don't know. So you can be literally making YouTube hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and they, you can't talk to them at all. Yeah. Like, I, hey, what? I would like to change my name on my channel. Like, you know, whatever. Like, no, nope, no. Nope, I have just to say care. one thing, though, that they are, sh that I was very surprised by. So, my, my shorts channel um, got, it was at like, it's over a million, but we didn't get any notification for the 100K plaque or the million. And then we weren't <laughs> getting verified. So, we were all kind of like, I was just like, how do we even do this? So, I was going to go email my partner manager, which, yeah, I do have, but yeah. I got like three new ones in the span of a month, and then this one went on vacation for two months or something. <laughs> really? So, you must have wait, the same so one I, that I do. So I gave <laughs> up, and I went to the it's like YouTube live chat, and I was they're like, oh, if you chat with us live, uh, we can help uh. you. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be a robot, but it's like connected with somebody. I swear to God, within four minutes, I had both the play buttons in the mail, and my channel yeah. was verified. Really? And I was like. And it was just a ra it was just random chat off the Google oh off the YouTube page. Holy shit! Yeah. Maybe I should do. Maybe I and should then try even that. my partner manager came back from vacation, and she's like, uh, "She's like, use the chat thing. We aim to respond within like thirty seconds or something." Wow. Yeah. Well, and I was like, "Online through chat as well." Yeah. I just said it was hey, actually it was pretty weeks. quick. Yeah. I remember years ago, like 2018, I sent an email because we were trying to blur <laughs> a video because John's face was in it. And I mm. used the blur tool and it got locked up. And so like you couldn't access anything inside of the that video in the dashboard. And uh, I emailed them and they kept saying something. Like it, it was like, you know when they like the support says something? This is a generic email, by the way. Support says something and it like clearly reads that they didn't actually understand what you were trying to say. <laughs> yeah. And it happened like three times where I said, no, you don't understand. And it like over and over. And, and finally, 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 my partner manager responded. Um, and they, they ended up fixing the problem. But like I uh, dude, for the, did I tell you the story of my play button? It burned no. in the house fire. So I just gotten the first like silver play button and it burned. Sorry. Why are you laughing? Are you just like, oh, no, I said oh, sorry. You, you, you said so, sorry. I have to say, oh, you're, you're talking about how your silver play button burned and he's just <laughs> and sitting there next to him. You're a monster. <laughs> quiet you there. Sorry. 
Because he has his right next to him. Okay, I'm going to say it again. We have, everybody yeah. laughs. It's just like, oh, I've, I've got a therapy. silver play button and William Osmond doesn't. Okay, yeah. I'm going to start yeah. over and you guys are all going to laugh together, okay? Um, okay? Anyways, when my house burned down, the silver play button burned too. <laughs> <laughs> Got right. Just me. Thank you. All right, thank you. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and uh, it they made me pay for a new one. The first, they weren't even gonna give me a new one, but oh. then they made me pay for it. Like, well, how do they know your house really burned down? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is a that's a good question. Well, um, no, I, what's I haven't. The, um, what's the yeah. what's the TikTok support like? Have you got the TikTok play button yet? Did Kevin just disappear again? <laughs> Kevin's Kevin. gone. Has he said anything Rip. this whole time? Has he been disconnected? No, has he even been I, here? I think I think he said something. I think he said something. <laughs> All right, we just we'll power through that. Okay, we don't need Kevin anyway. Um, we should say Kevin. We should just say why Kevin isn't here because he yeah. has bad Florida internet. Oh yeah, you tell that story. It's not even a story. Well, we just rescheduled for today, so I that know. Kevin could be here. <laughs> and then his internet hey, went down. Hey, we missed yesterday because you were off getting a milkshake, Niall, all right? No, I we, we said 10... milk addiction. We said 10 p.m. my time. I show up here at 9.45 and I see a message that was sent at 9.20. Oh, it's canceled. Yeah. I was like, were, what? You, you were, and you were getting a milkshake. Yeah, you because the, the I was show, I was still 15 <laughs> minutes early and I got canceled 40 minutes before. <laughs> Good milkshake, though. That was good. Good. So, uh, Tom. Mm, oh my back. God, Kevin's back. Um, all right. So you you yeah. make chemistry videos. Yes. Um, like kind of crackhead chemistry videos. I'm back, oh, baby. As a compliment. Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> you're like you're like a you're like a really smart backyard scientist. Oh, hey, Kevin. <laughs> hey, oh, Kevin. But, okay. So what did I miss, everybody? You're like right. You're like in this sweet spot right between Nigel and Kevin. <laughs> oh. Okay, what does that mean? He, huh? What do you mean between us? He's <laughs> between like it. he's like he's less polished Defined than between. he's not polished like Nigel, but his chemistry is more organized than Kevin's. Hmm. Yeah, yeah right. he has a degree. Yeah. But you, thanks. But yeah, for but you're like actually do, like in the process of getting like a PhD, right? Yes, but it's currently a, it a PhD is nuts. Wrong to say it. Yeah, it's it's currently in physics. Uh, the PhD. What? <laughs> and I say currently, I mean, it is in physics. Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, chemistry is um, just applied physics. Wait, right? Yeah. I mean, no, it's, it's, so it's, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people say chemistry is just applied physics. And I don't know. I think, because all I know is that, I mean, when I was actually in chem a long time <laughs> ago, is it the same uh, with you? Everyone in chem just, you know, just, just hates physics. There's no real reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you're like, that's if you become I, a phys physical chemist they just you just lose your friends yeah so that's basically what i am at the moment i'm, I'm, in, I'm oh, basically no. in physical chemistry but i'm in the oh, physics no. department um everyone just says so if you're gonna do that just become a physicist yeah yeah so just that's why pretending. i shit on the i shit on the physics department <laughs> in my videos because it's me you know <laughs> mm. yeah why why do you so, post it frequently and then the math majors shit on all of you yeah basically why do i post so frequently <laughs> yeah um well, yeah, so I, I'm in my third year on PhD and the lasers keep breaking, um, which sucks. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to be there forever. What, wait, what kind, what kind of lasers? Why do you yeah, what, lasers? What, what, we're oh, talking about your, lasers, what's your research? lasers, yeah. five milliwatt lasers, five megawatt lasers. No, they're, so they're pulsed nanosecond regime tunable IPO lasers, um, which probably oh, means yeah. Oh, yeah. not much to many I know, people. I know those. Yeah. Yeah. No, so say, they're, it's say they're, it again. Not, I couldn't actually. They're not yeah. super fast. So the nanosecond pulse lasers. So they operate at yeah. like five nanosecond pulses. They're about. Oh, That's like a couple of. I mean, in the, like, in the realm really of really high peak power. Hmm. Yeah, in the realm of what lasers, kind of laser though. Is it? How does it, how does the lasing work? So they're flash lamp pumped neodymium YAG. Sorry. Um, oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, so they they yeah yeah. So it's a big, you know, ten sixty four, and then that's get doubled, and then doubled again and it, it pumps an OPI crystal and the advantage of that is that um so it's an op optical parametric oscillator god sorry I'm talking too much science but, I've got, um, I know you nerd. what happens, can't see what happens is I, it, oh yeah yeah Kevin I have a little model of a, of a erbium yag flash lamp oh, yeah. pulse laser right here yeah so so yeah, I broke so I broke this, the crystal 
you've got this magical crystal, which is this OBO crystal, and depending on the angle of the incoming light, it uh, changes the output wavelength. So you still have your laser, but it splits the laser into two with, with like a ratio between the two laser wavelengths. This is too nerdy, I'm sorry. but um, bas So basically you get a tunable laser out of it because depending on, you can just you know use stepper motors to rotate this OBO crystal and then your input laser comes out at any color you want it to be. So I can That's be like, oh, I want my laser to be 587 nanometers and it'll go there. I want it to be 1,000. Who, who, so there's like a lot of like mechatronics as well. Like who's, how does that work? Yeah, there's a lot of like, yeah. Um, basically they're really well designed, like engineered lasers and with software that was written by an intern in about a week. Um, that's, huh. which is, oh, yeah. God. So there's all these stepper motors and everything and, um, you know, the lasers barely. Are you using like lab work. view or is it like some other? Yeah, case? like lab view, but barely. And so oh, there's God. a lot of like timing stuff. Yeah. There's, there's wow. been a whole thing about them, but you know, and especially you kind of like when you, when you pay like over a hundred grand for a bit of science equipment, you kind of expect it to work and then, right. then they never do. And then yeah. <laughs> it's like it's a, lot like, of science a lot of niche stuff is reason. like that. Like yeah. they can just charge a bunch of money and because they know you have no other options and it also can just be sort of total shit at the same time. And then I've never understood that with cars, right? Like, you can go buy a car and then like a year later it's totally there's something wrong with it and they're just like yeah like oh the backup camera's broken you have to pay us six hundred dollars to replace it and it's like you made this car and like you made it shit so the camera's broken why do i have to like pay money for them to fix it and i feel like small small companies especially with science or expensive stuff they just it's kind of like well oh yeah we'll come out but you, you got to pay us a thousand dollars an hour to fix yeah. the machine and we we've had issues as well because there's only one person in the southern hemisphere <laughs> who can fix them um and how many are in the northern uh, hemisphere probably at least three but you know like you have to pay, <laughs> they fly out and you have to pay their accommodation and then like they can't come because of covid and then you know is that a side effect of covid yeah, the state borders here have been <laughs> shut really badly. <laughs> no, that's I made it a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you said, that, you, said okay. you can't come because of COVID. <laughs> All right, yeah. No. Yes, I nailed it. <laughs> I All right, so it. you're you're a, you're a scientist, and now we have Kevin here. We can ask like interesting science questions. You're so I, I have one. the most educated. Shut up! It's my turn to talk. Um, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna build a machine that makes all of you be quiet when other people. And are we're gonna here. give it to Zach because Will will go crazy with power. Exactly. <laughs> um, so my science question for the smartest man in the room, the the high, most highly educated. Nigel, what's your education level? Bachelor? Uh, definitely not the highest here. Did you graduate? With a bachelor's. Okay, and then bio, Kevin, we, not all, even we chemistry. all know. Kevin went to the school of hard knocks. I dropped um, out of okay. bachelor. So Tom, was, Tom is... Oh, no. oh, I don't want to be the most educated person. Tom is about three inches away from a PhD, so I think that you are definitely the most qualified to answer. And physics, too. Oh, my God. Can we go back this to calling so me good. a crackhead? That was nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's a crackhead PhD. How far do you think a human can pee? What's, like, the farthest you could pee if you were trying to pee as far as you could pee? And are, are we stationary when we're yeah stationary in? you're just like standing on a flat surface Ten so feet. like i mean i how do we do this you could do it by like like what's the pressure that like your brat like bladder would explode and so you could basically put about that much pressure on your bladder and then like i don't know is it a what kind of problem are we solving here like what if we measure i like how would we even go about solving this problem the just, problem just gotta have a competition how that's how i would do it that's it that's how we do it on the street. Feet? You think a human could pee 10 feet? 15 feet. What do you think? Kevin, do you have any ideas? I'd say no more than 20 feet. I say 20 feet's impossible. So some, a number less than but 20 10 feet. feet more 10 feet's plausible. I think 10 feet could be possible. How far where is 10 feet? Where the hell is Adam? Let me, let me convert it. Three, Three meters. meters. All right, good. I'm, yeah. I'm on track here. Three That's meters? A it's a lot. Three it's meters. far. You could do it's... three meters. <laughs> you think you could? Does any, do any of you have to pee right now that you could go outside and, and try to get a rough estimation? Here, I'm going to... Disappointingly. Like <laughs> the new YouTube challenge, you know? Mm-hmm. The pee like challenge. Pee. Pee oh, challenge. Kevin has returned. All right, so we've got some estimations. 10 meters. I don't know. Maybe we'll do an experiment. We'll come back next week and see what the results are. Can I, uh, can I ask my else? question? Yeah, ask your question. 
So how many of you guys have eaten uh, sugar like puffs before? I like have no cereal. idea. What is. I don't uh, know what it is in the U.S. Let me, in let me convert it to Australian. In, 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 can, in Canada, ones? it's sugar crisp. Sugar crisp. Sugar crisp. Like Rice Krispies? Like? No, is like um, the bean-looking ones. Yeah, sugar crisp or they look like honey beans. monster puffs. <laughs> Maybe it's just not that. Golden this is crisp. A great question. Yeah, it yeah, says, yeah like, the bean looking ones. Those look like yeah, beans. That was a perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you guys do you ever, know what I was do you ever eat about? that? They look like coffee beans. I've had them. Uh, I have. I like them. I do like them actually. Okay. I should get some. So maybe I don't like you should, them because they my like question. Stick in your teeth. Wow, way to be negative, Kevin. My question is: this when cereal you, sucks, and you should all feel bad. <laughs> when you go, when you eat like a bowl, I don't eat cereal, but it's like years ago when you would when you eat a bowl of sugar crisp. If you go pee, see, it's related to your, your pee okay, question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you go pee, it smells like sugar crisp. What does it taste like, or, though? I have no idea. <laughs> pee. <laughs> That's I, all right. I haven't investigated that far yet. But if, if, if we were at, to make a cereal wow, you're not, tier list, sugar crisp <laughs> is bad. This is, le- is F tier cereal right here, guys. <laughs> sugar crisp is so? actually Mom, great. You guys should go to Child Protective Services I, for having to eat if that I had cereal. Wait, it says right here, it's a low in sodium and free in saturated and trans fats. And loaded with low sugar. Low in fun. <laughs> Tom, what's your it's favorite cereal? over the top with sugar. I get cereal, it's like Fruit Loops or, God, I mean, so boring. Wheat Bix, like Wheat I mean, Bix. Like, Jesus, this, we got a no, boomer, a oh, boomer yeah. on this podcast. <laughs> what do you put on your Wheat Bix? How many Wheat Bix do <laughs> you do? This, Come on, I eat two sugar and I used to put a bunch of sugar. On sugar. Them. My mom would get Wheat Bix and I would load it up with just like literally like spoonfuls of sugar. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, I want to finish my, my question. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Where, where are we all of the stuff online says that <laughs> it's from it's because it's such a high amount of sugar that you pee it out, but that doesn't really happen what unless do you, you have why does like my, what is my pee a crazy smell so sweet? amount. But also, like sugar diabetes. doesn't smell. So, what is what is in? Is it like the sugar crisp flavor or like smell just makes it to your pee? I feel like yeah. this is a, this is. A video for you. Why does my pee smell like the, sugar crisp? There's the asparagus <laughs> pee, right? That doesn't smell like yeah, asparagus. It's it smells like it smells way worse than asparagus. This it's one smells idea. good. It just smells like the cereal. Wait, Will, have you, you noticed? I'm wondering what it is. What did you say, Kevin? Sorry, you used to eat that cereal. Did you notice it too, Will? I never noticed it. Not the smell. I've had at least. I've had multiple accounts, and there's news articles about it, so it's I'm not alone. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Nigel, was there anything interesting in the smell of the diabetes pee that you drank? <laughs> that I drank? I never drank <laughs> <laughs> Wait, diabetes didn't, pee. Didn't you like eat pee for a video or something? Yeah. No, ah. no, no. Did wait, oh, okay. wait, I, wait, I want to hear more about this. <laughs> That's how doctors no, used to test for diabetes. Exactly. I mean, they make the I was actually it. tempted to to make the video more complete, but it was just kind of Why not? Gross. Who, wait, who? Um, Oh, it never happened. I just... It, so, Zach's confusing it with the other video where I made an artificial sweetener from pee. I never tasted pee. <sighs> oh. But you tasted the sweetener. So, Maybe. you yeah. have indirectly... Yeah, but that, that's like saying, like, you... Nigel's in the water you took a You took, like, a drug or something that was derived from crude oil, so therefore you've eaten crude oil. Like, doesn't yeah, really... I think that's like, a fair claim. <laughs> Look at it, Tom yeah, agrees. Yeah. Can't see Kevin. Yeah, this should be the title. N- Nigel tasted my ex girlfriend's pee. Because <laughs> <laughs> she had diabetes, and that's who he used for the video. Did you actually? Yes. That is. Yeah. So I didn't. Ta- I did not taste that it. Is, did you wait? Did you share this in the video? Because this is the funniest thing ever. Did you share no, what? I just remember my ex girlfriend's pee being in his fridge for like a couple how, months. Okay, maybe. I have a question. How? <laughs> yeah, how that's did, true. This is a. This is so good because this is like like an actual good experiment <laughs> that has such deranged like like origin. How did you proposition someone's girlfriend? I think she just offered it. I don't remember the what details. What was the, okay? Maybe there had there literally had to have been what? context because nobody just offers pee. Um, there must have been some inquiry. I think you just formally asked. I've seen I've seen Nigel subreddit before. I've what? seen people offer. Wait, actually, did you say? Yo, it's so funny because I, I looked up the chat on I looked up the chat on Facebook, and the last thing I spoke to her in 2017 
was the P thing. Well, okay, can you read it? This is <laughs> awesome. This is uh, so funny. Yes. Wait, there's, that's like, I think that's the only thing we've spoken about on that is, Facebook. That makes it so much <laughs> you still got the P? Because uh, I actually remember telling <laughs> no, he her, because I needed it to have sugar. <laughs> I needed it to have sugar. So I told her, because she often like, would not like respect take, her diabetes. Don't so I take told your her, insulin for a if, week. If you get a high, no, I said, if you get a high reading, that's a good time. <laughs> Because <laughs> I needed it to be positive. That is so funny. Wait, so what? I want to. I want to <laughs> hear the chat. I want to read the chat. Yeah, yeah. I, it's really long. I can't read the whole thing. Um, it's actually pretty hilarious reading this. It's terrible. Oh my god! It's everything we spoke Blast about from the okay. past. Yeah, that's how chat works. <laughs> there's there's a, there's a few snippets. Oh, that's literally the only thing we ever spoke about. <laughs> the first message to her was, "Yo, when you get high blood sugar." Brackets, the higher the better. <laughs> I need Air quotes, your don't pee. take your insulin. <laughs> That's it. I need your it, pee. The higher the better. I need your pee for a video, <laughs> dot, 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 of course. Wait, How many so, subscribers so, did you have in 2017? Was it I, a lot? Maybe, or were, maybe like, no, like probably... You were still at home working out the garage. Was it like enough to, was it enough to be yeah. legit or was it like... It was over 100K, I think. It was over 100K. Okay. Man, that's, Actually, a, that's an abuse her response of power to that, if I've ever seen one. How many, Dude, how many response, subscribers do you need to start asking girls for their pays? That's the 100,000, I, I think guess. the answer is zero. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, to get it, you need 100,000. To ask them, you can do that so, zero subscribers. I want to read her response. So I said, for a video, of course. Her, her response was, oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you just, like, cold opened with this? <laughs> Yeah, and she's like, I'm like, I'm serious. I'm gonna use it for a video. She just says, Okay, what kind of container do you do you will do you need, and how much do you need? You need two gallons. Uh, <laughs> you said, How much do you got? Um, oh yeah, it's God. literally the only thing we talked about. I'm like, Yo, I need your pee again. <laughs> because so I think did, I let it sit in my fridge for like weeks, and I just yes. never used it. What did you? I know, so wait, I need it ASAP. I'll pay you $20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, Nigel, once coming to your house, and I was super thirsty, and I opened the fridge to, like, get a Coke, and the pee was just in the fridge. Oh, Did yeah, you, it's just in the fridge. Was it labeled pee? No, I no. don't think so. <laughs> Did you have her pee in an apple juice bottle? <laughs> I, it was just a water bottle, actually. <laughs> but it was, like, it was actually oh a reusable God. water bottle. <laughs> um... Okay, so then the experiment, what did you do? What did you do with the pee? Uh, drank it, like I said. I mean, like I said, I didn't <laughs> do. Um, no, I just tested for sugar in it because I was doing... It was a whole video because at the time, I just thought it was pretty interesting how... Uh, and this is like when you get into the, you know... I feel like I'm going to say all this and you're going to be like, okay. Uh, I Just the interesting way that diabetes was tested for. So it's like the first way was, as Kevin said, just, you know take a little taste yeah uh, you know if it's sweet um then, then there's probably a problem have diabetes i think that's so diabetes mellitus is the name and i'm pretty sure it means it just means like sweet i don't want to say it doesn't mean sweet pea but like mellitus honey is or sweet. something diabetes. when i search when i google search sweet pea it's just a bunch of little green balls uh d mellitus means sweet and, but I don't know what diet. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But mellitus refers to the sweetness of the pea. That's how it was, um, how it came about. So then, when they decided to, one guy was like, "Hey, you know what? Maybe tasting the pea isn't great. So we'll come up with a chemical way to do this." Right. And that was like the first early way that you, you know, when your patient came in, you didn't have to be like. <laughs> Pee in a cup and then just sip it. <laughs> Dude, would they would they put some ice cubes in it? How did they prepare the pee for sipping? Um, no, you gotta you gotta take it just like <sighs> as is, straight Intern. from the source, straight from, from the, the tap, yeah. <laughs> ten meters away. God, dude, yeah, I can't. Being a doctor back in the day was crazy. Oh, this is yeah. good. I'm sure they probably taste people's blood too. There's like, mm, you don't know what they really the could determine. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what's the uh, what's the weirdest science experiment you've ever done? Um, I don't tend to do anything. No, I, I can't say I'm not doing. I have weird. a good question for Tom after too. I'm currently I'm currently doing some bone stuff, which mm. sucks because 
I, usually my projects are like vegan, you know. Right. And it feels weird to like take a living thing are you and vegan? just grind it up. No, no. But, <laughs> I don't know why I'm God, that, no. But, like, no, no. <laughs> but, but, um, yeah. I, so you're saying I you're, you're taking thing. something that's alive and you're grinding it up in like a blender or something? That's, well, I mean, it's dead when I grind it up. Oh, that's, <laughs> there's nothing that's wrong fine. with that. Yeah, so it's, it's not too, I mean, the weirdest thing is still just like going into like hardware stores or like really like supermarkets and like cleaning them out of specific chemicals. Mm. You oh, know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like drain cleaning. And you always worry, you're like, oh, you know, because like, I was like, oh, I'm going to do some chemistry. I'll do like, you know, I was going to make like some explosives from aspirin or whatever and like extract some lithium. So like I went into the supermarket and I just bought like five packs of aspirin, um, some baby oil to keep the lithium under and then like a pack of triple A batteries or something. And I was like, it's just like, who's like, who's serving me? You know, like it's like batteries, oil and like enough pills to like kill me. And it's like. (laughs) what is this man doing and it's like oh i'm just making the explosives like no worries i've I've given up even just trying to be normal like i just think um i mean normal for video making purposes i'm normal in general that's my disclaimer yeah okay Um, (laughs) but i've given up (laughs) yeah i've given up being normal for videos so like one when i did the uh pepto bismol video for the intro i was like i just wanted to drop a bunch of antacids so when (laughs) i went into the pharmacy and i bought every single antacid they had (laughs) like every brand and as you go to the cash and you have like nine brands of antacid and you're just like you know what like whatever it's not her business yeah Yeah. (laughs) the weirder ones is the oyster hydroponic stores like i don't know if you have them Mm. we have quite a few of them here and like you know because they have some pretty nasty chemicals and like yeah they're always like, what are you using this for? And you've got to yeah. be like, oh, I'm just making drugs. And then they're like, oh, that's all right. You know, yeah, as, yeah. as soon as you're like, some weird oh, one. no, I don't really okay. smoke weed. They're Death like, this. you know, it feels yeah, weird, weird to, weirder to like, <laughs> to yeah. be like, no, I, I'm actually just going to use chemicals as chemicals. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hate when you go to the store and people ask what you're doing thinking <laughs> that they will even be able to remotely help you. I'm just and I'm like, like, why are you selling this? Like, first of all, why are you selling this concentrated acid? Like, bro, you know. I, yeah. I mean, th- there's uses. But it's like they come up to me and ask me, like, what do you need this for? I'm like, there's no way I can explain to this guy what I'm trying to do. <laughs> have you heard of YouTube? Uh, well, I mean, some a, of the stuff is so much Because then they have a thousand more questions. How, do you make yeah, money? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, my parents are so disappointed in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Wait, I did yeah. have a question for Tom. So, because right. then I think it was earlier in one of the other podcasts, I mentioned making gold fulminate because my goal. Oh, yeah. My goal was to make $5,000 worth of it and just blow it up. All right. But what Concerning. is the likelihood of dying doing that? That's pretty high. I mean, gold is <laughs> cheap at the moment. You can get gold, like people like oh, gold, you know, but like you can get a gram of gold for like, I don't know, like 80 Australian or some shit. You know, it's not really that expensive. I mean, it is, but like a gram of explosives is a lot. So to do like five thousand dollars, like you're talking <laughs> like multiple grams, and that's like, you know, leveling your lap. Not leveling your lap, but like, you know, they're gonna have to clean you from the walls type shit. <laughs> rather than, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying yeah, they're like really good YouTube death video. because they got to clear the rubble kind of thing more. Then you know, <laughs> yeah. hurt my hands. So, um, five thousand dollars is the mark's pretty high, you know. Um, <laughs> how how would you like even do that? Would you do it in like little batches? I mean, you have to, because like, because explosives one big they don't, old they batch don't scale, yeah. And you read, <laughs> there's there's people, there's historical because it was like the first explosive ever invented or whatever. Mm. So people were like, oh, this is neat. I'm gonna make, you know like 100, 100 grams of it or whatever and just die and so there's just like you know and like historical <laughs> it, reports do you actually like the die 1600s. if you get vaporized in a in a like three millisecond explosion like are you actually dead or do you like is your consciousness well, you just like, like ascend <laughs> you ascend to the next level <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's yeah uh, that's a good question 
Um, <laughs> no, I, I can say that you die. Uh, how? Yeah. <laughs> how would you? He's confirming it. <laughs> how would you even work with something like that? Like, could you do it remotely? Like, what's the right way to do it? Oh, yeah. you need a little robot. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. a bomb robot, but it's, it's actually making the bombs. But it builds <laughs> bombs. <laughs> 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 um, the problem, the problem with sensitive explosives like that, and it is really sensitive, is that, um, and because they're heavy, right? You have like a pile of them. They have this like self confinement, but mm. also they're like able to self detonate. So the, the weight of the pile on the guns at the bottom causes it to detonate. So you just can't have it reached mm. like a critical mass where if you had a pile, it would it would blow up. How do you keep it stable? Because like if if it's like wet or something, does that stabilize it? I mean, for a lot of them, yes. Some some explosives, it doesn't help. But wet generally is is how it's done. I mean, these things are just not handled industrially for for really sensitive explosives. They're just not handled. Like no one's making that. No, there's no need to. You know, be right. Like, like they're just they're just like you get below a certain threshold and they just become lab curiosities. What's the basically. legality of doing something like this? Because it seems like something that's not even illegal. Because it's so dangerous that you'll just like never do it. <laughs> Oh, like, um, like, like, is there, there, is there any practical application? Like, there, you couldn't. Like, there's no practical application, right? For, for really sensitive. I mean, there's always, there's always, you know, interesting stuff with explosives and. But you can't and, transport um, it or anything. It's just like. No, no, but but you're always trying to make. There's always research about, you know, trying to make better explosives and and you know, it's not about making exact sensitivity, but you're trying to make ones that go off in certain circumstances. You know, right. whether that's like laser or, or you know, exactly only to heat and not to shock or, you know, sort of thing. So there's, there's still quite a lot of research. And, and there's heaps of research as well about like, oh, green explosives. Like, oh, you know, because it's weird, right? Like in the, in the 1900s, they replaced the main explosive, primary explosive was mercury fulminate. Yeah. And they were like, oh, mercury is pretty bad. So we're going we're gonna to swap it out for lead azide and the lead explosives. Mm. And that was in like the early 1900s. And it's just been the same since. It's just still the number one explosive. It's just lead mm. based, mm. and it's it's terrible. But like, you mean right. like like primary explosives? Primary explosives, yeah. Same thing. They just haven't like, been able to replace it. Same thing in bullets. Right now, the bullets they use yeah. lead lead stiphonate in the primers, and yeah. so you go to a shooting yeah. range, and you know if it's an indoor shooting range and it's not really well ventilated, you come out and you're you like blow out black boogers, and that's all lead dust. <laughs> yeah, it's like are all you lead serious? Dust. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, people are complaining about me touching the piece of lead in this x-ray video, but you go to a shooting range and you're actually inhaling it? Yeah, like yeah. the lead like, dust from, from the primer, from the like the heat on the back of the bullet and the bullet scraping down. Is the, there the, any gold explosive that will not turn me to dust? <laughs> um, What's the goal? To not to turn, turn to dust? something yeah. else to <laughs> dust. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, turning something else to dust. Um, no, but I mean, because the lead's uh, fucking gold is pretty yeah it's not very stable in things because it's a big element i mean potentially if you want to if you want to burn five thousand dollars on chemistry then you know there's plenty of more expensive elements you see the price of iridium and buddy rhodium mm. at the moment but can you they can, blow up oh yeah right <laughs> what is what is the like Probably. abridged uh non-instructional explanation of like how to make gold fulminate <laughs> oh good yes okay do I have to give a disclaimer before I like? Well, I I uh, mean do I don't know like no. what's the, what the general safety rule is, third. Yeah, oh, safety, safety third. third. Right. <laughs> what is like Profits enough where first. we you understand the general process without the specifics that somebody would get mad at? Um, well, so you just have to have dissolved gold somehow. Right. Um, so whether that's aqua regia or whatever, and so once you've got gold in solution, you're just adding ammonia basically, um, and so that'll first precipitate out the gold hydroxide or oxide or whatever and then that'll re-dissolve and then you'll precipitate out um this weird ammonia complex of the gold which is basically that the gold fulminate but seriously like it, it it's pretty sensitive and it's very unpredictable because it's just a random like it's not even a specific compound it's just a random mix of all random like stuff so batch to batch even like you read science papers about it and mm. and like they're like batch to batch it's just completely different so is there a way, like, if it's in solution, is it pretty safe? No, it precipitates out. So you've got to, like, filter it off. And... Oh, so, like, really? What if, you, so what if you, like, but if you have, like, this jug of stuff that's precipitating out, like, that's pretty... I mean, if it nah. does... 
So yeah, so a lot of explosives like this, especially these heavy metal like silver and gold stuff mm. can actually detonate because <laughs> yeah, yeah, like underwater, right? Because you've got a big enough amount and because yeah, so because their their ability to propagate a detonation is like you know like it's just for factor depending on the chemical, but if that if that ability to propagate is like less than the amount that's precipitated out. Does that make any sense? You know, sure, so I mean. so you can't, you, the water's not stopping, you know, it will stop it from particle to particle, right? But if you can, but if, if the ability to detonate is smaller than, than the particle is, then the particle is just going to go anyway. So, so what so, you'd have to do is you'd have to like set something up where the make second Make super half... fine particles? Yeah, I mean... Sure. I mean, like, genuinely, no one would be able to tell you the answers to these. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you know, so no, you... no one is doing this to the point where, like, oh, it was fine. Let's do it again until it's not fine. And then, you know, like, so if you, if you, you, took... know, you can read things where people survived and you can read about people dying, but you don't know what they were doing. So it's, there's a big gap in between, <laughs> yeah. you know, living and dying, you know. So if you, always if you, that was before we had YouTube videos. I know. Now we can <laughs> capture the moment. And cell phone cameras. <laughs> Sell it as an NF yeah. NFT. Yeah. The goal, the goal I know this is safety third, but the goal is not to try and do things to the minimum amount that you will survive the procedure. The goal, the goal is to have a little buffer between dying and uh, completing the procedure. Right. Like, is, like losing Sorry, an arm is too successful, safety. but staying, staying alive is the goal. Yeah. yeah, see, I, I would increase the buffer a little bit. <laughs> yeah. People don't actually understand that we do have a buffer. And then we get all sorts of angry yeah, comments. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if, if, you, took, if you took the dissolved gold and then you added, yeah. the, like, whatever to precipitate everything out and make that happen, but you did that in, like, in a remote station where you were actually going to detonate it, you yeah. could make it in a way where you never had to approach it. Yeah, right, yeah. You can, you can do things. But, or, dude, bomb robot. It would also be crazy, right? If you made, let's Battle say, like two pounds. If you made two pounds of gold uh, fulminate oh and Oof. like you kind of just blew up yeah. and like you got vaporized, but be, you know, it kind of shoots like gold everywhere at the same right. time. That'd be In fantastic. Your conscious, your conscious would become <laughs> one with the earth. It's kind of just like you just explode and just sprinkles of gold fall, fall down. <laughs> what so, do you think the you know largest how, uh, volume a single human has taken up in like a detonation? I don't know what you mean. Like they get detonated into a cloud of meat. Like how big do you think a human has become? <laughs> like one, one mile square um, or cubed? How big was fat man? <laughs> big. That definitely, that absolutely would have vaporized an entire human. Oh, yeah. I, oh, like are you saying? No, oh, I'm yeah. just saying, like, if you get if you got detonated and you turn in like a cloud of pink mist, like, how much, how how big could that like cloud of mist get? Like, what what do you think the biggest well, area? Single your mist would take? turn into mist, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You would like, be, you would literally be atomized. You just keep. Yeah, you're if yeah. you're atomized, like, how much space you turn do into you plasma. think that could? Yeah, yeah, like, what kind of what kind of volume do you think a person could encompass? As Dude, a that actually like sounds the, pretty the, cool, though, right? The just fireball, plasma. <laughs> the fireball <laughs> radius of whatever bomb that hit you. I think so, I mean, be, you think someone has easily But then been everyone like, in somebody in that radius also combines like, uh, 200 square 200 meters in diameter. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Talk oh, about big like, chungus. Oh man, this is like <laughs> hanging out with my engineering friends who all got engineering jobs. <laughs> what was it? So wait, I have I, I, I have another oh. question about the gold. Cuz I just looked it up yeah. and I was like the safest thing you could probably do would would it be possible to make a gold thermite? There's no I, I looked it yeah. up and nobody's done it. Yeah. There's no record anywhere because I don't think anyone like. Yeah. I don't know. I look. Don't you need oxide? Yeah. Like it's oxidized iron and. You just make gold oxide chemist. and just mix it with aluminum. Yeah. So could that blow up? Because some yeah. thermites are explosive, right? Yeah. So it depends on the the reactivity of the metal. The least the less reactive it is, the more energetic the thermite. So, but exactly. it also depends on the boiling point of the metal. That helps a lot mm. too, which might be a bit shit. But you can, you can definitely do that. Yeah, that's a big way to burn $5,000. talk about the boiling point of metal. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? Yeah, I mean, that would spend your money. You just Nigel, got too I much think, money, you just got to burn. Nigel, no, no, no. So I'm, I'm telling you, like, I think I love the idea of doing like uh, a crowdsourced 
campaign where every last dollar people give you is going to be converted into some like gold explosive. Like you're literally going to burn the money. Yeah. That's such the a good idea. So the problem with the thermite is that you get the gold back. Well, yeah, but then, but Probably. that, I, yeah, I mean, that's a win for you. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why the fulminate. I, I okay. like the fulminate because you kind of just blow it up and then you're just like, so. Yeah. Okay, that's, okay, okay. That's it. Realistically, like, yeah. I like this idea. I think that with enough people combined, we could make a reasonable amount of gold fulminate in a safe The first part manner. of the budget, though, is for the robot. Right. So you build a robot or a machine that's capable of like finishing the last half of the reaction. Oh yeah. And then yeah, you, the first like, half you could easily do yourself. Right. And so you, yeah. you don't ever you don't have to get anywhere near this thing. Hmm. It'd be scary. Yeah. Like, cause you add all the ammonia, you see all the gold fulminate coming out, and you're just like, is it gonna go on its own? Like, what do we? It should. I mean, yeah. what else? You get a high. You have a high power it rifle might. that like, you can. That's true. <laughs> that, that that would be good. And like, what happens if you spread it out? Like, if, if you just dump it on I the ground. I feel like you need to like, dry it though. Like, you need to see it dry. Yeah. You need to see yeah. the dust. Because in water, you won't see it. But no, but you would you would pour it into like a some sort of sieve or some sort of filter, and the water would drain out. And it would just collect. Yeah, yeah like a classic coffee filter or something. I think this yeah. is a great idea. I think I I am so on board. Yeah. I mean, if you want to do, you know, because I feel like I have hit multiple projects where I've been like. Hmm, this would be great if I could do it remotely because it's just yeah. too dangerous to yeah. like. Yeah, <laughs> I, I need some to robot arms. To me, it yeah. sounds totally feasible to be able to like. Oh, you just need some valves. You just need to pump, you know, like two different things together, and then just walk That'd away. That'd be from pretty it. epic. Like in the, your haircut video, you have the VR goggles and you have the little yeah, that thing probably costs arms more than gold. You do the remote up. chemistry. <laughs> in order what? for that to be worth it, we'd have to do uh, um, probably it just like a hundred thousand dollars worth of gone. gold because the, the robot's the most expensive part of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it just destroys yeah. it. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what what do you think the legality of this is? Do you have to you'd have to find a place to do it? But like, are you like what's the, I don't understand or yeah, even know the legality of blowing. The, you the need public, a license here in Canada, probably. Yeah. But what's yeah. What the, where does that cutoff happen? Because, like, what is blowing uh, something up? Yeah, right. At least when I looked it up in Canada a long time ago, almost anybody can get an explosives license. You just cannot be doing your research within, like, a certain distance of a dwelling. That's, I'm, That's Jesus Christ. Like, why easy. would you? But your yeah. limit is 25 grams. That's a lot of grams. For research purposes. Anything below 25, they're like, that can be deemed research. Um, I, but how many... What about I in the States? That would be... In America, we love blowing shit up. But we're looking to make like half a pound of gold foam. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's the, what, what would the like, TNT equivalent be to half, half a pound? It's pretty bad. Like I mean, probably pounds? roughly half pounds? a pound of TNT. What? It's about really? the same, yeah. But it's been... Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, like, but how do you guys know this yeah. off the top of your heads? I don't know. <laughs> work with TNT, he knows I better know. than me. <laughs> Explosives, yeah. I mean, they, they don't, like, they're not, primaries aren't, like, wildly more powerful than secondary, like TNT. It's just, it's just, like, their ability to go off in small amounts, you know, because you can't, you can't set off two grams of TNT and expect it to reach its full potential. It just doesn't do it. Right. So... Have you seen the cross sections of like some like any rocket that is used for any like actual purposes like going to space? Like they're just literally giant bombs with a cargo bay on top of them. Oh yeah, it's insane. The entire well, thing I mean, is fuel. Yeah. Well, I mean, and on like on the flip side, any missile is just like fuel and then fuel. fuel. I'm <laughs> no, I'm saying that like the thing that always amazed me is that a missile is just. The tech, the reason they cost like a hundred grand or a few hundred K is the amount of technology that oh. goes into just making that thing go through the air is so dumb. And then you just blow okay. it sure. Here's, like here's a claim probably, that I'm going to make right now. probably cost 10 bucks to make them and if, they just sell them for a hundred K, right? Seriously. If we, if we all you, spent, like, if we, all, <laughs> yeah, 10 if we bucks, spent three months together in the same room, we all could just, make a missile. I guarantee you um, can make a missile. So here's the thing. We could make a missile. Just yeah. is it remotely useful, accurate, but or is it like? Missile? What are you talking about? I gave us if, three months. If I had, if I had the raw material, if I had explosives and I, I could and okay, fuel, I could probably do it. I could do it with an Arduino. I bet. What? 
Yeah. So well, I really wanted to I really wanted to learn and I wanted to make some sort of rocket. I want to make a lic- a liquid propelled rocket. Right. Because I that's just like think that's me cool. after Taco Bell. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I've come to basically the realization that Pity it's a project they'll do in like five years or ten years. It's way it's uh, way too I looked hard. up I looked at the rules and you are not supposed to make yeah, they don't like it when the rocket's controllable. I <laughs> this okay, is what about if they're li- uh, right? This is like the amateur rocketry organization. Yeah, like like stabilizing Dude. a rocket is kind of like where where the, yeah. where the line is. No, that's how you get a job at Lockheed Martin as when you're a high schooler. <laughs> that's how you get a scholarship. I'm, I'm pretty exactly. sure that the instant you make a rocket, like you take it and you make it go up, but then you go one step, like, and you make it do like a loop. <laughs> that's the point where they get yeah. mad at you. <laughs> yeah, but they can't this. do anything. The rocketry organizations, dude, they are the biggest bunch of boomers that I've ever sa- seen. Dude, oh. the safety nerds. Yeah, but yes, the aviation. It's unbelievable. People aviation will, is like, pretty. Yeah, they'll just con- they control the airspace. That's the biggest concern because if you launch a rocket. They will just find you. <laughs> and also, gonna find the me? danger... No, you can, anybody they fi- can... They'll can find you. Don't worry. They'll up. find you. The problem, too, with the liquid... The liquid-propelled rocket has also just an inherent problem that if you... You need to include enough liquid to propel it. But that also means that when your rocket inevitably fails, it probably has enough liquid to, like, blow up when that's, it that's, hits. Yeah, that's the whole point of making a missile. So you're basically goose. just... Making terrible missiles, and I don't we know if there's a missile, any real but way like to multi-purpose. The fuel is also the warhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying that if we tried to launch that, it would probably just go up and just blow someone's house up. Well, and then at that I point, mean, you're just a terrorist. Just go out you to the just desert. How far do you think it's going to go? Just don't do it next to people's houses. <laughs> That's a good point. And <laughs> honestly, like the first one will probably go five feet there. in the air, spin everywhere, yeah. shoot death gases, and then just blow up. What were you going to do, like a You're hybrid? Being a party pooper. Sorry? Like a hybrid r- rocket? I just want to make a classic, like, uh, nitrogen the... tetroxide and... Um, <laughs> classic. Uh, <laughs> Tom, what kind Why? of warhead are we going to put on our <laughs> missile? And uh, uh, hydrogen. Nitrous oxide. Just the classic I rocket. I was making chemical, oh my God. Well, chemical weapon missiles, so, like, it doesn't need a warhead. <laughs> Nigel's more likely to die making the fuel than the actu- from the actual rocket. I just think it's... Cool. It's the classic, <laughs> classic one. This is this is like I I cannot stress how like almost innocent the military industrial complex is because everyone thinks it's this big evil thing and like it is just a bunch of nerds who like the idea of blowing things up and then someone figured out how to make a ton of money out of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, I mean, let's I blow yep. things up with rockets and then and then someone's like blow just cashing up. in. A, I Dude, just, blowing stuff up is I, awesome. I just want it to fly. I just think it would be <laughs> cool to have it Yeah, Nigel doesn't fly. want his thing That's to blow up. He, he wants it to be a rocket, you know? Blowing it stuff will up blow up cool. when it fails. I just want it to fly. But it's. I've come to realize it's just impossible. I don't have the technical ability. I'd basically just have to hire engineers, and then at that point, yeah, there's no point. Right. At that yeah, point, just, just start your own defense company. Because <laughs> yeah. just like a simple, just the simple problem of when you, if you have it liquid propelled, you have to shoot the right amount of liquid out so that you have good propulsion. But then the faster your rocket goes up, if you gravity feed it, the faster your liquid goes out and then the faster your rocket goes. And you just, you have to have control systems depending yeah, on I how mean, fast would, you're going and just, in what orientation. Why don't you just it's do too something much. that's a little bit easier, just like a, like a solid fuel... Like the uh, you can just buy that at a hobby shop. Come on. No, no, no. Like the acrylic, where they like burn the acrylic tube. Yeah, yeah. Like a hybrid. See, yeah, just, that's what they like. It's the way you're like describing it is lame. nitrous. I know what yeah. you're talking about, though. Yeah, I think I think uh, dude, there's so many solutions. Have you? Because the liquid propelled rockets. Okay, the reason I want to make them is because don't of how dangerous yeah. they sound. Because the the other ones are very. They have a controlled sound, whereas the liquid ones just. It's just ridiculous. That's that's why I want to do it. I think you should. I think I think you should do the gold fulminate, or I'll do it. <laughs> and what? And fire the and missile you know, into that it. That one's definitely more dangerous than. Yes. And oh doable. My God. If it doesn't detonate, then then our missile project will. will <laughs> you just will launch a missile. <laughs> um. So wait, I had a question. Um. Are you ever gonna post the the underwear video? 
Dude, it's just editing. I just hate editing, especially videos that are so open ended like that, where it's like I have to figure out what do I have, what's interesting. I'm just gonna like sit down and then like tell this. I don't know. I just need to do it. Because I just because you could also not post it, and I could just do it myself. No, that's there's definitely an opportunity for two videos. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted to steal the idea. Doing it right and doing it wrong. No, I just do I, it right. I wouldn't comment on your video. I would just uh, pretend it never happened. <laughs> just do it, Nigel. Start working if, on it. Put the pressure on Nigel. If just, Nigel had access it. to my hard drive, he would delete all the footage from that video. No, nah, it's okay. <laughs> you got it. You you have to be. You you have to learn from the mistakes of your past. You can't just erase them, right? <laughs> it's not true. You erase all sorts <laughs> of stuff as long as enough people have found out about it. <laughs> uh, we've talked about it enough that like the mistakes are pretty out there. <laughs> pretty permanent we have to do it now that's why i gotta get ahead and post a a good one to show that i'm capable yeah. when you, when's your next video coming out mine hopefully you said you said august it's august hope f- don't be one of those people it's <laughs> <laughs> free content we need a free so content fun. you're just a lazy piece no. of shit youtuber all these people were like you said august i'm like man august 31st is still august Uh, you know, like September first, I still consider that August. Maybe the yeah. first few days of September. But it's just like I always post on the very last possible day. That's just what yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I pushed this X-ray deadline. It was supposed to go out on Friday, and I ended up posting it on Thursday. No, I ended up posting mm-hmm. it a week late, actually. Yeah, it was exactly a week late. I want to post this one in September. It happens, and I probably I, I will if I can. Don't doesn't it feel like? You're you're back in high school getting yelled at by your teacher or something yeah. like that. Like it's it just does. horrible vibes. Like the way we used to do videos too, it wasn't so bad. Bad but vibes. Like, like my videos are so much more like I've been trying to make them more like structured and cohesive because I feel like that's kind of like the way YouTube is going now. Um, yeah. And it just like it's so much more work. It's so much. It's like I film videos now the same way that Michael films videos, where it's like you just film something, put it in in the edit. And then you're like, all right, this yeah. makes sense. And then you get like, you get like, I had like seven minutes at one point, and I was like, this stuff's too long. Like I did this green screen bit, and it just like it went on too long, but I didn't know what to cut, so I ended up just like neutering it. But then later down the road, I brought more stuff back into it, and it just like it's yeah. just, it's like, oh my god, yeah, you do your stuff is kind of like that too, where it's like you have this like thought, this like train of thought, and like the pacing, and like when do you move on? Like when do you sort of like not yeah. talk about a problem that you had? Just like, ugh. yeah, I I try and do things very quickly, and but like. Sorry, I think I also disappeared there because my computer ran out of recording room. Oh no! Uh, too much, too many files. I know. Sorry, editor. Um, but you, uh, you everything. rescued it, right? You rescued it. I think so. Okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> not my first fun. rodeo. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that was confident. But um, like in terms of like, I, I call it scope creep. In terms yeah. of like, you start a project and then uh-huh. you're like, oh, wouldn't this be cool? And then you do it and you're like, oh, that'll be another month, but I'll do it. And then it's like. Like, and I, then I think because I always think it's funny in a video and I hate this, but like, I, I think it is funny, but like if you do something for a long period of time and then in the video, you talk about it as if it was like nothing, you're like, oh, yeah. I spent four weeks on that. Haha, <laughs> that was stupid, right. which is funny in the end video. But when but you're doing it, you're like, you I'm going to edit this down to four seconds, aren't yeah. I? Like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just like every time, every time I sit down to edit, I just like, I kind of hate doing it now like it you know what you need is. to do what? <laughs> you need to write i and i sound again going back to what kevin said I, about a i've teacher. tried you I've need tried. The, to write an outline but the problem but nigel the problem is that <laughs> everything i do is like it's supposed to be like real time like a cooking show kind of where you're just yeah. like showing this is how you do this and that and you can't redo a lot of it so you can't like reset no stuff i know up. so, so but like you do all this, the time you have to go back and do it but the like this X-ray video, like I redid a lot of stuff. But the only reason I redid oh, and then it is because and it was, then you did it all in order. Yes, in one but, day. But yeah. the only reason I did that is because I didn't. Nothing was like super permanent or modified in a way where I couldn't do that. Okay, so yeah, yeah. what you need to do is, I mean, so for example, like my second channel, the Nile Blue stuff. There's yeah. no organization. There's absolutely <laughs> none, and editing it is and it shows. Yeah, is, yeah, it's very easy. special. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Those are like simple. Those are simple concepts usually. Like kind yeah, of two but dimensional. It, they're kind of a nightmare. Like my, f- we filmed last time. We just lost footage. We straight up just we're looking for it, and we lost three hours of footage. Sounds about right. 
So we edited around it. You mean you mean thirty <laughs> seconds in the video? Uh, we edited around it, and it was yeah. like pretty hard. It was. Pre- it took me a few hours to like edit around it. Um, th- it's, that's a disaster. We don't. The point of that channel is we don't even. St- I when we start it, we don't even really know what we're doing. Uh, we didn't even research the topic. Yeah, but go um, go watch like go watch the the extrovert if you haven't seen it, and just you don't have to watch the whole thing, but just like look. Oh, you did. Like, y- mm. when you start paying attention, you realize, like, I don't really go more than, like, one or two thoughts before changing how the camera is being uh, angled or held. Mm. So it's very, like, it's it's very dynamic. And, like, this is something that Michael has done a lot of. Like, there's a lot of feedback that, like, I think everyone absorbs from everyone else. Okay. Like, they, someone sees someone do this, and mm. they like that, and so they kind of copy. And, like, Michael does a really good job of never stopping. And so... The camera is like part of that mechanism of like, how can you make it feel like it's not stopping? It's like, okay, well, sometimes I'm, I'm holding the camera walking around. Like when I'm, when I'm holding the camera talking to, it, I'm almost always moving because it makes it feel like mm. I can't have the mm-hmm. camera on a tripod. Because if I had it on a tripod, then you wouldn't be able to see me. So I have to bring the camera with me. And it's like, you could use a cameraman, but then the problem is like that kind of changes the style of the video. So, yeah. yeah. And it's it good. changes I mean, the pacing. Having a cameraman is good too, for its own reasons. It can it can be good for like live action stuff, but when you're trying to convey something that takes you like six hours to film, having a cameraman oh, like, breaks, yeah, it, yeah. like totally breaks it. It just absolutely breaks yeah. down. So I think like trying to get Sandra uh, or Chelsea to yeah, help. With it's something a night, like that. dude. It's awful. Like dude, when I when I would film with John, it's, it's bad like, for them. That I would, it gets bad for you. Yeah. I would call him at like 12. It'd be like like noon. And I'd be like, oh man, like, I, I, hey, I think I'm going to have this done in like an hour. Yeah. He would drive all the way across town, like probably 10, 12 miles and he'd get there. And then I would literally keep, I'd be like, oh, sh- it's not working. It's not working. Like I thought I was close to having finished something. And then I would like, he would sit there for like two or three hours and then, and then oh, I no. kind of have it. And then I'd be like, here, it's like, God damn, like I did this and it's not working again. And then he'd go home. And then like the next day or two days later, I'd call him again and like we weren't making any money at this point too, so it was just like you know we were just doing it, and he was just driving. Like neither of us had any like a, a real job at that point. Like, <sighs> no, it's yeah. hard. I was so what I was gonna say is like the the second channel stuff is just a nightmare. But it's like for the main channel, I have to write like a a, a, a huge outline. So I think right. I but think not getting action, some sort though. of middle ground. No. No, no, no. It just it depends, like I do it have. depends on how you want the energy of the video to work. And so, like, for for my kind of stuff, like, I, I almost can't present it in a formulated way because it's stupid. Like, it's chaotic and it's not well planned. And so, <laughs> well, if, it's, if I'm sitting and then I did this and then and it just is, like, moronic, you know, it kind of, like, gets weird. It has to feel well, like real time. My The video that I did about making bromine in the garage, that was my experience of most of the video was just footage that, my friend filmed while I was doing it. Yeah. That's like most of it. So but the story my, is like structured. It is, but to edit mm-hmm. it, it was, it was a different editing. It, it, I had to sit down and actually try to figure out how to do it because I put, I think it was, we filmed for two days and I think there was like 15 hours of footage. I don't know what it was. Right. So I put it into the editor and I just scanned until every time I said something and then I would mark it on the timeline. <laughs> Every time I said something, and then I took okay, so notes and wrote down everything I said, and then right. I organized the order that those things would appear in, and then how I would have to interject with voiceover. I think in I order have to way too much. I think I I have like ADHD because I can't do that. Mm. That's I mean that's no psycho. That's yeah. <laughs> like, that's there's way no way when you have 15 like, hours. How are you have to? I'm not watching. Like what I like. So I'm not like. There's yeah. a lot of people like Idubs and Michael Reeves and myself. Like it's it's way worse now for me. I used to be like one take wonder, but now it's like you know I, I'll say the same <laughs> thing over and over. Again. I'm a thousand but, like, take wonder. Like I've talked to Ian like <laughs> Idubs about it. And, like I, he hates filming when there's people around because he'll just he mm. has to like say the same the same line a couple of times. Couple you know like he just says it says yeah it, says I do it. that. Michael Everybody does the does same that. thing, dude. Yeah. yeah, like I do. Yeah, I remember, like, get the in the right middle of the intonation. night, you would just hear him screaming. Like, Michael would be screaming up in that crow's nest where he'd film up in, like, the attic, basically. And he would do the <laughs> same thing over and over and over and over again. And, uh, oh, like, he'd have, funny. you know, maybe 10, 15, like, attempts to, like, say something to, like, yeah. get it right. Like, in this extra video, there's a part where I, like, I run, I run to my chair and, like, like kind of, like, pop my ass into it and, like, kind of slide in. And I'm like, I'm not $69,000 in debt. I'm only $2,500. I did that, like, four or five times because it just, like, I was trying to, like, make it feel right and, like, not weird. Yeah. yeah. And that's just, that's just how it is, right? 
And then one time I, I hit my ass on the armrest and it hurt really bad. I like landed <laughs> wrong. Oh no. <laughs> right in, in between the crack. Yeah, or, that's or the, are we just all yeah. are we just all awkward no, nerds and everyone else is really good at it? Uh, and it's just us. No, it's, no, uh, you, no way. <laughs> uh, it's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> you start to realize that that's just kind of how you have to put stuff together. Like even yeah. the filming for the main channel, um, it doesn't give me anxiety. It just makes me. It's very tedious. So it's like because I want to be able. To, I, I don't know how I'm gonna go to the, through the edit. So I have to often show the same, everything I do, I have to show in a few different ways. Except if it's like a one take, I'll do things where it's like, I, I just will do things I don't even need to do just so I have the footage. Cause I can't, I can't go back. It's yeah. impossible for me. And it's, it just it's makes hard the film and take three to four times longer. Like if you're Sorry? ending, if you're in, if you're in one scene and you're like continuing to another scene, but like continuing the same train of thought, you have to keep yeah. the same, yeah. like, the same yep. intonation in your Dude, sentence. Casey Neistat has, Casey Neistat has oh. some like miraculous shots in his videos. Like there's one that I always think about where he, from leaving his like house, he like leaves his house and he goes from like his house to his office, to that helicopter he'd always take to like JFK to his first class yeah. seat to like Germany or something. And across what had to have been like 20 hours, he says like a paragraph. And it sounds like he's like, saying it in real time. Yes. Cause you have to keep and like so the same like, energy and, and yep. speed and all that. It's to match. so good. It's so good. But it's like, dude, did he like write this out? Like he wrote down his like paragraph Definitely. before he left. Like he had to have, yeah. And so yeah, I don't understand like a lot of that type of stuff. People don't understand. There's this weird like temporal like like rift mm. that opens up when you're trying to film a video because people see it as like real time, but you can't film it in real time. It's almost impossible. Yeah. And so you have and to you like shatter that illusion. Right. It just feels then weird. it just feels like chaos. You know, there's a lot of really bad maker channels that do that where it's like it's more about the science and less about the video. And it's like, well, yeah, it's like it's a mess because it feels like in <laughs> like not continuous. Like it has to feel continuous. And a lot of times the strategy, you know, like like Tom does is to kind of tell a story after like you tell the story like after the fact. Yeah. Right. Like you're basically telling a story of this thing that you did. So it's like story time. Yeah. Where Alex, it's like the X-ray video does that, I that did. too. He does that too. Where it's like my video, the X-ray is like we're doing this right now. <laughs> yeah, but you can yeah. you can string together the fail your failings like of what you did in real time with voiceover, right? Yeah, but the voiceover, even how you do the voiceover, I will be very careful to not talk about anything in past tense. If I say something in past yeah. tense, I'll start over and re-record. Yeah. That's something I will I, I do like on purpose. I aggressively mix tenses. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I do too. I, I both react to something that I am have done previously as if I've never seen it before, but also talk about it in the past tense right. while I'm doing it. Yeah. I just I just I hate tenses, so I it's just really it's just a really the bizarre. Same time. That's like it's like fourth dimensional dude. Like when you make a video like messing with time, like time becomes an actual yeah, like a huge care. problem. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And then how do you it's, address it's like the, the audience? Process. Is it like you know, we we built this or right. like now oh, let's dude, build I do this, that all or now time. I like, built this. I, it's I like, literally I have to say because I love including other people and I just like, I have to yeah. make like, a, I have to force myself to take like complete credit for most things where it's like, if you try to, if you, if you start saying we and stuff, then it just starts getting weird. Like even if someone helped you on like a CAD model or something, when you start saying we it just, then it's like, Oh wait, who are, who are these other people? Like, what did you like? Oh, it just like, yeah. My trick is just to never have help from anyone. And then there's no problem. <laughs> Yeah. Live a sad, lonely existence, and you can sad, always say lonely, I. Forever alone, <laughs> no one to do science with. <laughs> it's just how yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know. I I think with the the underwear video that would be like a story time video. But then it dude, it just and then it's like I used to film my intro at the beginning of the video, like literally we start filming and I'd be like, hi, oh, I'm Flame Osmond. Today we're gonna do yeah. this, and now it's like I film the intros <laughs> kind of at the end if it's like yeah. a complicated project. I think you kind of have to do that. I I think it's. Doing I, everything it depends. real time. It depends. Sorry, it depends. It totally depends. Yeah, no, that is true. Um, like real it time, stuff, it definitely does depend. Like um, if I'm if I'm doing something where it's like I have this problem, like for this, like, dude, I think my, this X-ray video is like one of like the like probably like most archetype videos I've ever done. That I, could, I still like, want you to send me your files so I can edit your video. 
yeah. I think it I would be amazing. Some, I could send you some of the old blog stuff that we did with you. I will I will edit it. If it takes me less yeah. than a day, I, just have to I will find edit it a video problem. in its entirety. Oh. Sorry? I'll edit it. I'll edit it. Take me away. Yeah, Tom can do it. We just need to, we just need to <laughs> do more. We'll just do more stupid stuff. For the no, second I've, been, I've been getting into editing, man. That's just what I do. <sighs> just like, <laughs> you need motivation. Like, I feel like on YouTube, you need strong motivation now. Like, why are you doing this? And it's like, oh, I almost died in a hospital. And they charged me a bunch of money. And everyone's like, wee. I showed you the thumbnail. I changed the uh, the title from I built an x-ray machine to the hospital charged me $69,000. It immediately shot up in views. And I'm just sitting there like, I hate this title, but this is how it is. And I'm like, welcome. Welcome to YouTube. People want drama. They don't want interesting things. And then people get mad at me for not building stuff. And it's like, I don't build stuff because, the dude, if you look at the like top 10 performance, like, like I said, the buying the battle bot. When I bought the battle bot, that video has a higher, like a faster trajectory than building an x-ray machine. I literally bought a robot and it did better than trying to build my own thing. But, so the one thing too is that you have, I mean, without going into much detail, you also have to gauge the longevity of the video. So it's like, I've had videos no, it's, it's that totally was true. the 10 on 10 worst performer for the first month. But then right. if you look at it long term, it was like number three. Right. So it it's is, like. It is gaining on the number five video though. Which is an egg yeah. drop. I literally have an egg drop, which is the videos people complain about doing better than the x-ray machine video. I just want people, yeah. like anyone who listens to this needs to understand, like <laughs> YouTube breaks your brain because the stuff that does well a lot of times is not what the audience wants. Like if you guys understood that most of the people who watch the William, like William Mazin videos, like I'm talking to the audience right now, <laughs> they are not people yeah. who are subscribed to the channel. So like most yeah. people, well, like, look at, like Tom, look at your videos. How many subscribers They are do and they aren't. 200,000? Yeah, you got 200 something yeah. thousand, right? How many how many yeah. views do your recent videos have? Oh, uh, about 300. Okay. Yeah. So you literally yeah. have 100,000 more views yeah. on some of your videos than you have no, subscribers. No, he, he like, actually just has not... all, his subscribers just watch them over and over and over, over and over. Yeah, no, it's just me awesome refreshing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah, yeah. I say, yeah. It, for me it's like a my small mom, mom. dedicated guys. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like um yeah, dude, yeah. it just Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, I, I'm I'm committed to churning out absolute garbage that my subscribers don't want. That's why well, that's no, my but, next plan. Wait, well, Tom, well, when are you going to yeah. become? When well, are you I'm becoming a full time science tuber? Cringe tuber. Cringe tuber. Get your oh, PhD and just yeah. flush it down the toilet. Oh. You like where your where your yeah, PhD exactly. belongs? Spit on it and then flush it into the trash. <laughs> <laughs> make YouTube videos. Yeah, um, I'll think about it. It's 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 getting to that point. I wouldn't even do it for the YouTube video. I just do it for my own self at this point. But um, yeah, nah. I mean, <laughs> full time YouTube is probably not until next year, sometime. Mm. But you want to know something? I'm sad. still making videos this year. Um, any jo any job you get with your PhD, you probably make more money on YouTube. I mean, y yeah, you'd hope. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but but you you have zero job security. Me, me and you went exactly opposite directions. I dropped out. You went to, oh, yeah. you finished your degree. And I could lose my job tomorrow. And I have, no, you know, like, you'd yeah. have to, you'd have to do what, work at McDonald's. Bad. I don't know. No. You, what if YouTube's just like, no, yeah, you could do, you could, you could work for someone else doing their YouTube stuff that dude, having a YouTuber that gave up is like the golden employee. <laughs> Like I'm not even joking. Like like someone who understands. How I don't want to work works, for somebody like, that wants a YouTuber that gave up though. God, <laughs> <laughs> they must be real no, desperate. But like, exactly. Yeah, but like someone who tried really hard but never quite like did it. Like that's just like, sad. Had success. That's sad. Yeah, I mean it is. But then they they like understand how it works. Yeah, it is true. But wow. yeah, I mean, I mean, on that note. <laughs> just, just end thank you, on thank the you everybody for, note. yeah right that's what we did the last one too uh thank you everyone for watching this episode of the safety third pod oh yeah oh oh keep no let her rip oh no that's fine uh tom's gone we can hear him now but the recording's gone yeah but means, thank you guys yeah but you won't hear his audio right that's fine that's fine uh <laughs> you can go tech check uh tom out on his youtube channel yeah check check it's, my channel uh, explosions you can hear Amber me now, I stand think. Um, <laughs> fire so yeah and ex the other one yeah second channel oh, and i've got extractions and i too is the second channel you can more, check out his only fans more me complaining about his things. only fans is also explosions and fire yeah but for now it's all feet you better pictures. check it while it's gone they're getting rid of yeah, all the right. <laughs> all the goods uh and we want to nah, thank there's, the no, there's no porn on there so it's, it's 
it's going to be the number one only fan. You can't, now, you can't you know, defend himself because he has no video and... recording going right now, so we can just say whatever we want. <laughs> uh, and we want to thank the sponsor of today's podcast, um, AstroTurf, the company that makes fake grass, are, is sponsoring us. So if you like grass but you hate uh, real grass, you get AstroTurf at. You just Google it. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. And saying uh, you're sponsored. <laughs> it it not wasn't Comcast's fault. <laughs> might <Honestly>. actually. <laughs> I don't know. All right, you come I up with a nice. better sponsor. Oh, uh, the, the, we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, God. Thank you, God, for paying our bills for us today. <laughs> yeah, limiting how far we can pee. Limiting how far we can pee. <laughs> if, you know, if I was God, I would make it so we could pee hundreds of feet. But, <laughs> yeah, oh, hundreds. No, limitless. No. That, the sponsor is, is the guy that crashed Chris. into the internet box and killed all the, the internet for my entire <laughs> county. Oh, yeah, Kevin. That's what we got to We got to end this so Kevin doesn't destroy his data plan.